So the first solution that we're going to look at is not necessarily the best solution, but it does have its place depending on what you want to do. So what I'm going to do is hop over to the topic model and we're going to create a mutator. And by this, I mean that within our model, we can define out that when we get, which is an accessor or set, we can use an accessor or mutator. So in this case, we would say, well, when we're setting the title attribute on this model, we're going to get through a value because we know that, that we're, we're going ahead and setting it. So if I just do a die dump on value here, we know that over here we are setting this here. Now, if I come over and refresh, you can see that we actually get that value dumped out. So uh, this is basically something that you could use to hook in the creation of a slug alongside a title. Now, the only problem here is that the way that we set things is we say this attributes, we go ahead and define the actual attribute. In this case, it's title. And then we set it to that value. And this is useful if you wanted to maybe uh, make the title all lowercase, uh, if you wanted to change this title in some way. And of course, this will work with any attributes that you're setting. Now, the only problem here is that we can set the slug in here, but we also have to set the title as well. So we could do something like this. We could say str slug value. So we're taking the title, slugifying it and setting it to slug. And therefore, when we save this model, the attribute will be set and that will be stored in the database. So if we just get rid of this slug here, or at least comment it out so we can go ahead and have a look, we know that this is stored in the database here. Let's get rid of this one first of all and come over and see what we get now. So you can see that this will have done exactly that. Now, the reason this is uh, not the best solution is that we actually have to do this as well. And you can imagine that your model, if you were doing this multiple times for different attributes, would literally get filled up and that's not always great. It looks a little bit messy and really this kind of thing isn't meant for doing this. It's more meant for just the attribute that you're setting. So that's one solution and this does have its place. Like I said, if you wanted to do anything with the value that you're currently setting, you could do this. And what I would also do is probably extract this out to a trait and use it within your topic model rather than go ahead and define them all here. I would create a trait for this personally just to keep things nice and tidy. Either way, that is the simplest way that we could do this, but not the most clean. In the next part, we're going to take a look at how we can set up a simple observer to actually do this.